Hello. Hello, my beautiful people. How are we this evening? Andy is here. Gracie is here. Happy Tuesday evening. Abby is here. Steven is here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have everybody. Did you guys get to experience the beautiful weather today? I was inside, but it looks fantastic. Anna and Lexi are here. Yay. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of fun, you guys. This is going to be so easy. As I was telling Anna and Lexi when they were here earlier today to visit me, that you don't really need me to do any of this. Um, it's pretty much just whatever you want. Um, but we'll go over the things that are in your kit and talk about a couple different options on the things that you can do. So, oh, and I don't have fairies, so, but I have Barbie heads. So those are the earrings that I wore today. Um, so let's open up our kit, shall we? Because you just have a bag of all your little doodad supplies and your fairy garden with sand. And um, everyone has some different colored sand and some I mixed a couple colors together to stretch it. I was able to get rid of this big box of colored sand that I had, so I was really happy about that. Um, okay, let me point you down, and we're just going to get, like, right into this. Steven likes Zen Gardens, kind of. We, do you remember when we did Zen Gardens here in the library? I had these containers left over from when we did that, so... I was like, what else can I do with these containers? I need to get them out of here. Um, and that's where the sand came from, too. And that's why I was only allowed to take a certain number of kids. And I had 43 people interested in this class. So congratulations to all of you who was able to snag a spot. Okay, so let's see what's in here, right? Um, oh, of course, we have to talk about this year's summer reading, and I will get to that. Tales and Tales, all about animals. Um, I will get to that. So we have this little piece of, like, grass or moss. Now, I will say, this gets very messy. So I gave it to you to kind you can cut it, like, you can cut it into round pieces and to look like moss covered um, rocks and place it around. You can cut it, you know, like wavy and use it as maybe like a flower bed. Um, however you want to do it, just know that when you cut it, it's going to be messy. It cleans up very easily. It's just like, you know, crumbles. Um, so everyone got a moss sheet. Everyone got some rocks. So I'll take those out. More um, just, you know, elements to decorate with. Everybody got glass gems. There were a couple different colors, some blue, some brown, some green, some clear. Oops. So you can decorate with those. Um, everyone got these little things in here. So some kind of structure. Um, maybe it was a sign or a lamppost or a bridge or a um, fairy house um, or a bench. Um, but everybody got some kind of structure, some other special rocks that have words on them. Um, everybody got an animal. There were all kinds of animals, um, sheep and bunnies and ducks and owls, some other kinds of birds. 
Mine happens to be a hedgehog. Oops, he's excited to get in there. And then everyone was able to get a ladybug, two flowers, and a mushroom to kind of decorate our area. Now, you can also go on to Pinterest and see all the different kinds of fairy garden furniture that you can make um, out of sticks. You could collect little sticks from the yard, or you can make it out of popsicle sticks, um, little like Adirondack chairs and such. Um, but this is it. And you get to decorate it however you like. Now, um, we're la most of us are lacking a fairy house. So you will need to find a way to add that addition to your fairy garden. And you can certainly dump the sand out and fill it with dirt if you want all the way up to the top. It's totally up to you what you want to use in your fairy garden. I'm going to put my little happiness sign pointing this way. And maybe I'm going to make a path with my gems. And I think I'm going to cut this. I'll show you how much of a mess it makes. Let me push this up out of the way just for a second. Um, because I want to cut it to kind of fit the shape of the bowl. So who else do I need to say hello to? Lily, Isaac and Micah, Sienna and Alex. That kind of fits. Um, Natalie, Kelsey. The other, Abby, Abby C, Emmy. Okay, so I wanted that to fit right around there. And, hmm, I think what I'll do is like a wavy patch. That maybe that's where my house will go when I get one. I also, before I get to summer reading, I have to tell you about um, what's coming up for May and June. See how it makes a mess? Uh, in case you missed it, all of our uh, events for May and June have posted. And don't waste time registering for, um, don't waste time waiting to register for um, our first one, which is May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Reads Day, because that is next week, and um, kit pickup is already this weekend, so register quickly for that. The following week is Pipe Cleaner Flowers, so if you missed the Pipe Cleaner Animals, um, we're not able to get a spot with that one or loved it so much that you want to do some more, register for that pipe cleaner flowers. The week after that, I'm really excited about this. It's, D, it's our DIY DVD case travel game. So we are going to convert an old DVD case, which I will provide to you, into how many games? One, two, three, four, five games that will also, and will also hold some um, paper for like a drawing kit. You might even be able to get a pencil in there. Okay. How is your fairy kit? your fairy garden coming along. What are we doing? I'm just decorating mine. Made a little pathway. I'm going to 
kind of put some rocks here on either side. Maybe just this side. I haven't quite decided yet. And then lastly in May is STEM at Home 101. We're going to be doing some really fun STEM activities. It's STEM 101 because in June we're doing STEM 102. 101 is all about noise. We're going to be doing some fun science things, making some noise, a chicken squawker, cup squawker, um, a straw whistle, um, screaming balloons. And then STEM at Home 102 is all about flying objects. Okay, hmm, what else can I do? I have one more glass gem here that I'm not sure what I want to do with. June, in June. Well, of course we have Summer Reading Registration opens up June 1st, and it only goes until June 15th, or while supplies last. I did run out of kits last year, so register early, um, because I have to put all these kits together. Summer Reading is always a huge undertaking. It's like a beast of its own. And um, typically I could prep all summer long from week to week, get everything ready for you guys before you come in. But with the take home kits, I have to do it all at once. And that's a whole lot of work to prep. Um, I had almost 50 kids last year, which I was really excited about. Um, but when we're doing six weeks of crafts, that's six crafts per person times 50 kids. It's a lot of craft prep to do all at once. So I need to cut registration off to give myself some time to prep. And then we will, I'm trying to decide where I want to put this. We will have a special kit pickup days. There'll be three days that you could choose to come to pick up your kit. It will be uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, June 28th and 29th, and June 30th. How's that looking? I think it looks pretty good. Um, and I'm going to move one of these flowers. I'm just, I like it there. And then July 1st and 2nd will be like welcome week orientation kind of deal. And then we will start the following week. Okay. Then for the rest of June, we've got towel origami. So you're going to supply your own towels and washcloths and hand towels and I'm going to show you how to fold it all different ways like they do in the fancy hotels and then the stem 102. All right what can I do with the rest of this? Anybody have any good ideas? Anybody what are they doing? What's your what's your things look like? This is going to be a nice soft patch for my fairy house to go. Or, I mean, a fairy could just lay down and take a nap on the comfy grass right there. I do have my other gem. I could put it there. I don't like it there. Maybe I just won't use it. Hmm. 
don't think I'm going to use that either. I kind of like the way I have it. What do you think? Pretty cute, huh? You guys have to send me pictures. Take pictures of what yours looks like and post them in the event or in the comments. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to share with you the registration for May the 4th, so it's convenient for you if you haven't registered yet since it's coming up so quickly. Did that show up? There it is. Oh, I also want to tell you that, um, here I could point this up since you don't really need to see my fairy garden anymore. Um, the last day to come in and guess what shredded book is in the jar is on Friday because it only goes to the end of the month. May 1st is Saturday. Do you believe that it's May already? That's exciting. And then the next thing that I'm going to have here for you to do while you visit is guess the storybook character. So I will have uh, silhouettes, which is just a blackened image of the character. And based on its shape, you need to try and guess who it is. And it will be... Um, books for all ages. So little kids and from chapter books. So that if you're older, <clears throat> you should know them all. If you're younger, you may have, um, I think you'll still recognize some of them because they've been in movies too. So I think that you, you'll be able to guess them. What else do I have to tell you about? Let me tell you a little bit more about, um, summer reading. So you're going to want to find the event on our Facebook page and click going so that way anytime I post any kind of important information in there you will get a, your parents will get a notification. I'm gonna post a video with my beautiful face in it talking a little bit more about it um, and the kinds of things that we're doing but we're covering pets and farm and the forest and the jungle and some um, mythical, wild, crazy, not wild, strange, unusual, weird creatures, some that really do exist and some that don't really exist. Um, we have uh, programs for all ages. They're on different days of the week. You could be virtual. I will have some in-house seats as well. They will be limited. There will be a separate registration if you want to do the in-person and that will reserve your seat for the entire um, six-week program. Well, it's really five weeks because you won't have to come in on the first week. <clears throat> Um, so you can come every week and that will be just your seat. I could even um, put your name on it and um, that will be yours. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm excited that we are going to be able to um, do some in-person stuff and then hopefully after the summer we can have um, more people in the building for the fall events. Okay, people doodles, I think that's it for tonight. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to say to me before we say goodbye? I see Steven's thumbs up. Thank you so much for that. Um, take a picture of your fairy gardens and post them so I can see all of the beautiful creations that you have done. And then Go put them outside and hope that a fairy visits when you're not looking because, you know, they don't come around when you're paying attention. They, they're they very sneaky like that. They don't want to be seen. So hopefully this will be a nice environment to um, invite them. Hi, Aubrey. Thanks for saying hi. All right, everybody. This was quick and easy, right? Have a good evening. I will see you again real soon. Bye.